going to demonstrate how to do some greenery climbing up a wall um, without ending up with just a big green solid blob. This is a, a little one I did for a demo last week. Um, I've prepared an area of wall, supposedly. Um, I've just spattered some um, watercolour, um, grated some watercolour pencil on there just to give it a bit of texture. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick with the limited palette to make it simple for you. I've got some um, sap green and I'm going to just lighten it a little bit. Just going to add a bit of yellow, make it a bit more bit more jazzy. And what I'm going to do, I start off by doing the leaves, not the, the trunk or the branches. So I just go in and put some blobs, as it were, of green. I'm using this number six brush. You can, depending on the size of your picture, of course, um, what size brush and what size greenery you want. And again, as I'm often saying, when you're doing nature things, unless it's topiary, um, it sort of grows as it wishes. It can be quite, um, you know, haphazard. Don't get into nice little neat bundles of leaves. So what I've done here is I've put basically, you can see some of that speckling showing through, but it doesn't matter because we will be having darker colours on top. So basically what you're doing is giving yourself the, 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 the area that you're going to work on, okay? So this is your greeny area. Leave bits of the wall showing because you want to give that impression that it's actually growing up the wall and also you want to be able to have some places to put your branches, your stem and your, your little twigs and things. So that's your first green bit. I'm going to rinse my brush off. <clears throat> I'm going to just dab that a little bit, partially because I want to get on and also because it gives it a textured effect and you get, you can build up, by dabbing some off I can build up the colours and it gives it a more interesting effect than just solid plain colour. Right, I'm going in with the raw umber. And I'm going to imagine this is growing up. It's something planted in the ground, it can be whatever you like. You can be more specific, of course, if you wanted to. You could say, okay, well, this is going to be a whatever climber and you could make the leaves accordingly. But this is just to help you with a general format. There's a bit of bleeding going on there, but that's okay. Of course, this is just sort of like the first phase, as it were. too thick there. Okay, so that gets us started. Right, now I'm going to go in with another layer of green. Tweak the colours as you like. And I'm just going to, let's just have a look and see. Um, again, the light situation, let's say the light's coming from there. So I'm going to have darker shades underneath. Here I'm just sort of putting in shaded clumps just to show vaguely where the shadow is going in. Okay, now I'm going to have to get a bit more green because I don't want it quite as runny as that. That's really very wet and I want it now to, again we can do a little bit of dabbing just to add some texture so those leaves aren't perfectly flat. You can build this up 
in lots and lots of layers if you wish. Um, you know, you can take as much time and and patience over it as, as um, suits you. Right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the shadow under a clump of leaves. So I'm doing what I did earlier, just making little shapes. So this is a bit the negative space, uh, negative painting. I'm painting the shadow rather than the leaf. So the leaves are coming down on top of the ones underneath. Now you see how it starts to get quite a nice three-dimensional. Still pretty damp, so it's still sort of bleeding quite a bit, but that's okay. We've got some bits that are quite sharp and precise, which is nice, but then we've got other areas which aren't, but they will dry off and we will be able to work on those later on. Right, I'm mixing a bit more, I'll just put a bit of yellow with the um, with the sap green, so I just want to have a few brighter leaves on the top. And let's just make them leaf shape by using the point of the brush. the sun shining down on this way so there's no reason why we can't make them a bit brighter okay rinse my brush off I'm going back to the raw umber need to squirt a bit more out I wanted more intense. Introducing a few more little strands. Again, you know, you can spend as long as you like. It's up to you what you want to do. This is just a, a model to help you get started. And it seems to work very well. I've done it on a number of paintings, this sort of style, and taught various people how to do it. And it does really sort of just do the trick. And again, like with some of the trees we did earlier, you can go on top of the green to show that you've got branches in front of. Okay. Right, let's come back to the the green. You can see that one I did as a demonstration. I worked a whole lot drier. They always come out differently. It's really, really nice. That's still quite wet there. But let's let's bring some leaves out as well in the shade. making some various marks and get some of that lime green again just add a few more catching the sunlight so you see how different that looks to that one <laughs> Really good fun. Okay, I'm going to put, um, I don't want to overwork that now because it's still fairly um, wet. So I'm just going to put a bit of shadow in. Um, just with a bit of water. Oops.
strong. Let's take it out. It's a shadow in there. So there we go, you could wait for that to dry off a bit more and put some more detailed leaves in um, but that gives you the idea so it all varies depending on how wet or dry you are working so just be mindful of that, let's put a few more shadows in there and it's always just fun it's to do things like this because there's no pressure you're not intimidated by a painting. It's just something you're doing to have a play and have fun. Let's just come back and do a little bit more. I'm going to add a bit of raw umber to my green just to get in a bit darker. Just in patches. So there we go, there is a technique for you to do something climbing up the wall and as you can see no two are ever the same. Anyway have fun playing with that and um, I'll see you in the next lecture.